We need to talk to you. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe. But you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm going to be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town, nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move.
They are long if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that. And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this, then. Glad you and Lenny are alone for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So what's going on with these two families? The Greys and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Ever can resist a scam, those two. Dutch already managed to get us deputized. We got the biggest price on our heads west of Chicago, and now we're working for the law. Well, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. So far, it's been a lot of fancy talking from him and Hosea, while I do all the dirty work. Just like the old days. What the... Something like that. You did well. That gang and Shady Bell. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and I heard the rest of them have moved on from there now, so we must have sent enough of a message. I reckon so. <laughs> I ain't lose much sleep over them fellas. Me neither. They'd have loved nothing more than to strang me up. That weren't gonna happen. Not through lack of trying? Nah, not to you. You'll outlive a lot of us. Good haul, too. That dynamite should come in real useful today. Yeah, if we can even get near the bank without someone recognizing us and raising hell. Well, we'll have to see about that. Just keep your eyes open. Keep it down now. In front of you. here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. Keep it cool and follow me, fellers. So, we never decided 
Is it the lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real down. Would you care to? I was child, and I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn right, go. hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Get word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here, unlock the door. as quick as I can. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. Now you shut the hell up and be still. as I can. We need to get out of here. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well... I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Gentlemen, hurry! We seem to have some company! Sorry, partner. <clears throat> Shit, hurry up! I said uh, come out now! What do we do? I don't know. Give me a second. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What are you, insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry.
think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp, and make sure you ain't followed! <sighs> husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or a lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. <laughs> 